Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. It's October 13th and the bees are really, really flying good today. Uh, it looks like we'll be going into winter here in a couple months with a lot, a lot of bees. Uh, probably more bees than we've ever had going into the winter. We've done a lot of uh, late season splits and that's one thing that you can do maybe next year is keep that in mind that the more bees you have going into the winter uh you know even if you don't keep all of them but if you even keep half of them that's still a lot of bees if you're if you're talking about if you have 20 hives versus three or four hives so kind of remember that come next year when it gets towards the end of the year whether you're selling bees or queens or nukes or whatever or if you're into it just for the honey remember come next year towards the end of the year start doing your splits uh, early on preferably because that way you can make your own queens you can cut queen cells do walk away splits earlier uh, it's always like I said prime time is in April May is when it's hard to make a mistake with uh, returning bees as the year progresses on towards the fall even like right to now if you do splits now you better be putting in a mated queen because you just won't have time for a queen to come back and get mated and then produce anything worth anything before cold weather it's already it's already beginning to get cold here in north georgia well it's supposed to be down into the 40s next few nights it's been maybe in the 50s at night time and right now it's just it feels like the perfect weather out. It's probably maybe 70 in the sun. So it, it feels really nice out. But as you can see, as, you get, as we go down through here, just about every hive here is full of bees. These here um, was bringing in pollen there a second ago. I don't know if I'm getting on camera or not. There's one with some pollen. If my shadow of my head don't hide it. But these are looking really good. So we've done what we succeeded for this year. We sold over 500 nukes, uh, hundreds of packages, uh, two or three thousand queens. So we've we've accomplished what we set out to do this year, and still ended up with a lot a lot of bees going into winter now it's not always a success there's some out there that doesn't have any bees in them or some that we did splits that just didn't make it but overall i'm very very satisfied in what we did uh yellow jacket problem this year pretty much non-existent uh and i forget who it was that left us the tip and if if you're on youtube i thank you very much for the tip and what it was was to set out traps in the spring so if you have any issues with yellow jackets this year get you some of those pheromone traps they sell them at walmart or lowe's home depot any anyone pretty much sells them they're a cheap disposable trap and you set them out it's got a pheromone packet in it you dump it in you'll catch those queens set them out about march and april and i caught about 50 or 60 of those uh yellow jacket queens and I'm telling you, it paid off this year. Yellow jackets are horrible on your bees, horrible. And they're just uh, pretty much non-existent this year. Uh, the hive beetles, uh, we have kept them extremely under control. Uh, we've got uh, a lot, a lot of chickens here this year. And I just had, when I came down here, they was working under the hives and they've walked off. We've kept it... Uh, we've, kept underneath clean no grass growing and it's made a huge difference now the bees are thriving there's tons of them um, if a lot of people don't know we these little two frame nukes that we have what we do we we used to make the feeder for them but it's just not time that we have to do anymore so what we do we just we just set a regular five frame feeder right on top of it it looks like a tea, but it works. And they take the sugar water down just as well. 
you can see them feeding in the our uh, hive top feeders that we use. We have a lot of these as a store. Anybody interested in them? We have sold literally probably at least a thousand of these this year, probably way more than that. There's a yellow jacket right there, and it's the first one I've seen today. He's trying to get in that feeder. They just don't have a chance because they're we got so many bees and so few yellow jackets. We're uh, really be going into winter really good. We got to continue with our mite treatments. Don't forget your mite treatments. We use uh, oxalic acid, and we've been using the Pro Vape 110. Uh, if you don't have a lot of bees, you can use just the pads. Go back and watch my previous video. I'll put a link uh, with the oxalic acid treatment up in the corner. You'll see, click on that video. You'll see what I was talking about with uh, treating with oxalic acid. We use the Pro Vape 110s. And they do really good. Uh, the bees are still super gentle. Uh, most people can't go through their bee yards like this without anything on. I don't even have a veil today. When it's nice and warm out like this, the bees could care less. And uh, they're just, we just got a super gentle stock of bees. And if you're interested in any of these barnyard bees, don't forget, put your order in early. To get, your, to get it the earliest you order now, you'll get them early come spring. Nukes, packages, and of course queens, but queens we always have a, just a little bit later in the year. Uh, as far as the pollen feeder goes today, they are taking it down a little bit today. It, it varies from day to day. Today they're taking it pretty good. And then we got our our bigger hives here. They was uh they was double deeps. We broke them all down to singles a couple weeks ago, and they're thriving good. I got uh, four here four over there of course there's the rabbits they gotta know what's going on out here <laughs> it's like a zoo out here people it's a, I got rabbits and chickens and geese that follow me around everywhere there's another little black rabbit right there but these uh they're very active today they look really good I was, I'm very impressed with how these how our bees turned out at the end of the fall so they're going good and going strong I don't know if anyone ever seen this little uh, two-framer I have sitting up here. I was just playing around one day and need the place to set it really quick, so I set it up there with a... And I don't, tell you the truth, I don't remember if I did a walkway split or, or dropped a queen in it, but it's been going strong, and, was, and it probably needs split right now because there's so many bees in it, or it needs put into a five-frame at least. But that's about it. I just wanted to show you what we're looking at going into late fall with our bees and they just they just look really really good and we love our bees and hopefully we come out of the winter with a, some good strong splits to do really really early to sell for our customers uh, don't forget barnyardbees.com we got everything and anything you need pertaining to bees to beekeeping nukes packages uh, and we're extremely competitive and we'll match anyone's prices just give us a call at the store 706-971-2700 or go to barnyardbees.com look at that little chick right there she's got one one baby that she's been protecting the other one something happened to them they disappeared but she's got that one she's been really watching over Don't forget, click on the little bell, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.